Okay. Let's do it. Let me go on random so I don't have to fidget with this. Or not, maybe we're on Battle Tower. <gasps> Guys, it's the real Joe UX9! <laughs> Hi, Joe. How are you, Joe? I don't think I've ever beaten you, Joe. Okay. So this team is standard Eternus, but they're 100% bringing that freaking Lando. There, there is no, there is no situation where they don't bring that Lando. What I can go ahead and do here is. <laughs> I can lead off like this. I believe my Draco Meteor should one-shot a Lando. As long as they're not like super bulky. Because most of them are just life orb. Celesteel in the back comes every single time, and I think I think Wind is a cot's not a bad play. Do this. It's the real Joe UX9. Shout out Joe. I like how for the first match of the of the X9 tournament we get paired with Joe. Captain Aura, how you doing? I'm doing well. Among Us? Is that Among Us? That's Among Us. All right. So I don't have Taunt. I don't have Taunt, but I can do this. Is it possible to one-shot this Amoongus here? Probably not. We're just going to get redirected anyways. I'm going to play suboptimally. I'm going to play worse than Joe expects me to play. This ain't even about winning. This is about sending a message. <laughs> this is about sending a message. <laughs> Connect the meter beam. Nice. Now, obviously, I'm going to sleep here, right? Oh, he's citrus. That's interesting. I didn't expect that. That's actually really disappointing. I'm very sad now. Now check this out. Now we Volt Switch. Decent damage, decent damage. I'm gonna go into my Whimsicott. I'm gonna play worse than Joe expects me to and it's gonna work. If I play dumb enough, I can't lose. Moxie boosted, 2020. <laughs> now it's a roll in my favor to live this Moonblast, so I might be able to actually wake up here regardless. There's the clear smog, that's fine. I'm just going to Tailwind.
actually check this out. He's going to Dazzling Gleam. If I wake up here, I'm in a pretty good spot. That's a pretty big if, though. Karna stays asleep. Clear smog. Nice. Joe, you and I both know that crit mattered. You and I both know. Alright. Here's the thing. I can go into a Leki now. Or I can go to Celestila. Because I can double that... Um... I can double the Amoongus now. I'm going to do that. So we should feel inclined to Rage Powder, if anything, I believe. I can Flamethrower Heavy Slam and that should KO. And that's just in case he decides to go into Lando or something. got some turns to stall my tailwind. Hey, thank you, Glazed. There's the Rage Powder. Alright, let's see if uh, Eternatus wakes up here. It's gonna be a big deal. Eternatus stays asleep. Dang, okay. That sucks. Ah, I told you! I got that special attack drop, though. No! <laughs> I'm so sad. But I told you guys. I told you. I got the crit too. Here's the thing. Eternatus is guaranteed to wake up this turn. Eternatus is a guaranteed wake up this turn. Give me this. Give me that. I was tempted to sludge bomb. I should have sludge bombed. But in case he went Lando, that would have sucked. So I just flame third. You can go Urshifu. It doesn't really matter. This should KO the Xerneas. Xerneas wakes up. Flamethrower. I still have my Aleki, which is phenomenal. That does, like, nothing. Please KO. Nice. I got the crit. I don't know how much that mattered. I know I do around 75%. Get that beast boost. What's in the back? Time to play America's favorite game. What's in the back? Get him Reginald. It's Lando. That's great. And his own Reggie Alecki. That's not so great. I'm going to protect here. I'm going to double protect. You guys like protects? You guys like protects? I love protects. Okay, I know what my play is now. What does more though? Let me, let me open up the damage calc. Alright, I got 42 seconds to calc this. Versus. I feel like you. Uh, flamethrower does a little bit more, so I have to flamethrower here.
Mono like he's still outspeed somehow. Don't be Scarf. Don't be Scarf Lando. Ah, it's Scarf Lando. Okay. Dang. That's game. Yeah, if it wasn't Scarf Lando, I had a pretty good shot to win there. Plus I crit. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, had I gotten that Thunderbolt off, I had a pretty good shot of winning. That's Scarf Lando, right? A few Earth Powers, we know. No, it's not. It's just faster. Okay. Uh, I guess if he misses enough, we win. And if I get a crit... So basically, two things have to go right. If I crit this Flamethrower, and he misses, I should be able to win. Come on, baby. Ah, no. Not lucky enough. All right. Good game, Joe. Good game. I need to get familiar with Lander's Eye speed tier. I thought 101 wouldn't be enough to outspeed a lucky at minus one, but I guess I was wrong. All right. Good game to Joe. That was a really nice match. Nora, get off my stream. That is a... That is a scary team if I'm gonna keep it real with you. That's double intimidating. <laughs> the freaking, um, the freaking Tora Cat. Okay. So luckily, uh, this is one of those famous teams that don't hit Eternatus, like at all. No, physical Alev. I was talking about the turn that I got Electrowebbed. That was an Aleki speed tie because I'm timid max speed. Not the turn afterwards, the turn where I got electrowebbed. Let me think. Uh, I should be able to do this. And that's pretty scary to them. So I'll steal in the back. And, uh, Wim's, not Wim's God. I think Reggie like he's fine again. All right, double cats. Let's see what we can do. Here's the Tora cat. Check this out. Check this out. This is my play turn one. My play turn one. I'm gonna meter beam this Torah cat, right? Doesn't matter who they fake out, it should be fine. Because I put a lot of pressure on the Xerneas from now, from now on. Okay. Are you ready for aggressive play of the century? I should probably just play it safe. Or do I play super aggressive? I'm going to play super aggressive. I think Torracat switches out here and Xerneas protects. I'm going to be really aggressive. I know Nora's a great player, so I have to I can't let 
I can't let her have any leeway. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Nice. Can't let her have any leeway. Nora's way too good of a player to not play aggressively. Hopefully I don't miss this. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna fake tears again. Cause I they should always fake out my incinerer. Or not my fake fake out my incinerer. They should always fake out my um what's it called? Turned us here. I'm willing to get rid of this boost just to do this. Because I think Incineroar is going to be in range of Moonblast with Fairy Aura on the field. And I stalled my Sash. Second Fake Tears. Nice. Not going to get KO'd by that, not even close. That little special attack drop, that hurts. That hurts me. That hurts me. Ah, it hurts. But on the bright side, I get my heavy slam. And uh, it's at this point where I'm willing to Moonblast this Incineroar because I think it drops with Fairy Aura. Or I could double the Xerneas and be really aggressive here, but I think I just Moonblast Incineroar. That's fine. Here's the protect. Check this out. How many turns of Tailwind are left? One turn left to Tailwind. This is pretty risky. But I think it's worth it. This will get it into Sludge Bomb range. And if they don't fake out Whimsicott, I'm in a good spot. Okay. They should do a ton, just because of Fairy Aura and it's at minus two. Okay, yeah, I feel a lot better about this match. And I get Tailwind up. Regieleki is really important. I don't need Celesteela anymore, to be completely honest. I'm going to Leech Seed this Tauracat now. And I'm just going to Tailwind up. That was really solid damage. That almost one shot. That was crazy.
There's the overheat. Yeah. I leech the Atora Camp more or less because I knew I was going to lose my Mons there. But now I can do something pretty funny. Now I can do something pretty funny. I think I just Electroweb here. Nah, nah, I just, um... Yeah, I think I Electroweb. No, they don't have Flare Blitz. They never knock out Reggie like you without a crit. I'll just Sludge Bomb Thunderbolt. Nah, I'll Electroweb. It's a little greedy, but I think I'm fine. I, I, I'm more likely to hit it than I am to miss it. Nice. If this man just to KO somehow. Yep, nice. I think I win. There's the Yoshifu. I should be fine just to double the Yoshifu here. As long as I just keep um, the pressure on the Urshifu, I win. I don't need to protect. I'm going to get faked out on one of these anyways. But yeah, Eternatus walls out the rest of the team. That's a two-shot. Poison doesn't really matter. It's a two-shot regardless. Surging Strikes. And these things like never the only the only out I could possibly see is if this thing somehow carried like ice punch. <laughs> I'll just target the Incinera here in case they protect. Ooh, okay. Maybe I lost now. Possible that I lost. I can do like two. I really hope I get flare blitzed. I knew it'd be Snarl. I knew it. Nora's a big Snarl enthusiast. Uh, luckily, that's still in range of another Sludge Bomb, so I should just win. My Tailwind's gone, doesn't matter. It's probably not Scarf. Yep, no protect, so I just win. Nice. Alright, Sludge Bomb here. Yeah, Nora, you would have lived another hit without the poison, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. If I didn't poison you, I wouldn't have targeted the Incineroar that turn. <laughs> Because I was trying to predict, basically I was I was trying to predict like um, a parting shot and or snarl plus protect play, but if the if the if the Urshifu wasn't poisoned, I would have just hit it again because I wouldn't be comfortable KOing it after a snarl. Oh, okay, this one's interesting. Screens Ho. -Oh. So, let me think. Hmm. Eternatus just kind of nays this whole team on paper. As long as I lead off with Rillaboom, that's actually completely true. Celesteel in the back looks great for everything not named Ho-Oh, and I think my last Mon's going to be this. Yeah. 
three one or one or one three. Three one and I'm the one is what I meant to say. <laughs> but technically, yeah, one and three is the right way to say it. As the inventor of Cali Rang, I do not approve of the opponent's plays. It was I, I feel like they should have always been fearful of Choice Band Sucker Punch, but I think they live regardless, so it wouldn't matter. Yeah, no, Diego, the, the tournament you can't join once it starts. And it started at about uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Landers Grim Snarl, uh, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. We brought the Celesteela, so. Actually, I'm not even scared of this freaking um, Landorus, to be honest. Because I don't believe they have terrain. Earthquake's gonna do like nothing. Let me double check. I don't believe they have a terrain that isn't grassy. Unless they're like Scarf Earth Power, which I'll eat that anyways. I'd rather just get rid of Grim Snarl. Yeah, no, they don't have anything for that. Let's go ahead and just sludge bomb here and fake out. I want to prevent screens. And if this doesn't KO, I can just grassy glide. Yeah, Lando T without Dynamax. It's kind of trash in a Rillaboom meta. Which all the Landorus makes sense. Sending the Incineroar doesn't make as much sense. They're about to get Meteor Beamed and like really hard. It's gonna be a very, very powerful Meteor Beam. <laughs> I almost dropped my controller. Let's see if this one shots. Probably not. No, it does. Awesome. Awesome. So if they go ho -Oh here, I'm just going to Beater Beam the ho -Oh instead. I have different ways of dealing with this Incineroar. There's their Landers again. I mean... I'm, I'm not really, I'm really not fearing this Landorus. I'm really not fearing this Landorus. Let me meter beam this Incineroar. And I'm going to go Celesteela. Because they can't both meteor beam and fake, or they can't both flare blitz the Celesteela and fake out the Eternatus. So regardless of which one happens, I'm in a, not a bad position. And Earthquake doesn't really do anything, so. Is it? Bro, this ho is dead. Dude, this ho is gone. I'm sorry, ho. -Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're. Dude, this ho is just gone. And it's not Scarf. If I connect this, this ho is just. Wow. Yo, rest in peace, Ho-Oh. Rest in peace. He had a good run. He had a good run. Rest in peace, Ho-Oh. There's the Earthquake. That's going to do like two. Hilarious. Okay. <laughs> rest in peace, Ho-Oh, dude. Didn't stand a chance. And now I just always focus down the Incineroar.
I'll go ahead and I'll just Draco Meteor it. And I'll get back in my Rillaboom. If it was Sash Ho, I would have lost my mind. Yeah, they're adamant on preserving that Incineroar. They were very adamant on preserving Say that it. name out loud. <laughs> Interesting. So we got Kingdra Rain. Kingdra is one of the few... I guess I should go back. Kingdra is one of the few adaptations to Kyogre that actually makes Eternatus kind of scared of it. However, I can just do this. I can just, I can just do that. Rillaboom's going to want to show up here, and I think I go Regieleki over Celesteela here. I can just do that. And then I outspeed and KO it with Draco Meteor, so it doesn't matter. How can I find ladder tournaments? A lot of people will announce them on Twitter, and you can check there. Um, Joe, I believe, is hosting like bi-weekly ladder tournaments, and you can also just go on search friendly competitions. Okay. Do it. Incineroar Rillaboom, this is the freest meteor beam of my life. They might think, okay, I can just fake out, but this is the... On this next turn, you know this Incineroar staying in, or something's getting meteor beamed, and they have, like, no switch-ins to it. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll protect this turn. I'll protect this turn. I'll play their little protect game. I can attempt the Meteor Beam. Let me double check what they got in the back. Yeah, no, their, their whole team does not like this. I guess technically Urshifu can switch in on it, but it doesn't like taking special hits, especially not at plus one from slaying with like 145 special attacks. So yeah, that's, that's not going to be enjoyable for it if it has to switch in. Wait a minute. I was going to say, the Incineroar faked out before the Rillaboom did, so the Rillaboom didn't fake out. Please just one-shot. This one-shot's most Incineroar. I really love this team, guys. I really love this team, but that's the worst part about using it. That's, that's just straight up the worst part about running this team, is that situation. I hate that so much. Perfect turn one, unfortunate ending. Can I one shot this? Nah, it's AV. Hey, we got the poison though, that's fun. That's the worst part about using this team. High horsepower, that's actually kind of annoying. Don't burn me. Okay. Okay, they burned me. This is like going perfect for my opponent. <laughs> this game's going perfect for my opponent. I'll just protect here. I think they'll just go for um, another Flare Blitz. Okay, it looks like they parting shotted. Maybe Snarl? One or the other. U turn. I actually prefer that. I actually prefer that. It's interesting that they it's interesting they opted for U-turn on a non-AV Incineroar, considering if the Rillaboom lived plus one sludge bomb, that was definitely AV, so I'm wondering what item they are.
Okay. Let me check something. How many turns of Grassy Terrain are left? Two turns. Okay. So I should be able to protect this turn. And I'll get in Rillaboom. Maybe I just Saki Eternatus. Yeah, I Saki Eternatus this turn. Maybe? If anything, I just Draco Meteor this Incineroar, to be honest. I'll protect. Yep, figured. Critical hit, too. Origin Pulse, can you miss? Can you miss the Eternatus? That'd be great. Hey! <laughs> What'd I tell you? I didn't tell you anything. I've just been complaining. But now I know what my play is. I'm gonna keep this Whimsicott. And if that's non-AV Incineroar, it shouldn't like this hit. And I should be able to go Rillaboom here. And that lets me keep my Tailwind for later on. Hopefully I can land the Draco. This is a plus one Draco. This Incineroar, this Incineroar should have been gone turn one. I'm just going to put that out there. This Incineroar should have been gone turn one. Let's see if we can KO it with this somehow. <clears throat> nice. Okay, I feel a lot better about this game. <clears throat> My throat's getting stuffed. Ice Beam. Yeah, that's fine. They win. Grassy Terrain's gone. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. They're not Choice Scarf, so it doesn't matter. I always just get in my Whimscot here. Kingdra, I assume. Yep. Two turns left of rain. Crap, I might have messed up. I might have messed up, actually. Um, let me see if I can somehow save this. I should have gotten uh, a lucky there. Okay, Kyogre protects. I think I saved it. As long as they don't muddy water, they should just like hurricane. Don't get confused, please. Okay. Yeah, we're good. That should just be a win. And I should just grassy glide and electroweb and then my follow and then I follow it up with um and then I follow it up with a thunderbolt and I should just be fine. Or, alternatively, I could double into the Kingdra. That might be safer. I'm going to double the Kingdra. Because I outspeed it with both my Mons now. And if they protect anything, they would go for a double with Kyogre. Because Kyogre can't really save this. I also don't feel like risking the Electroed mess, so. Okay, that should be game. Ice Beam. That's not KOing me. Nice. And the rain's gone, so they got no chance. A little bit of health back, and I should just be able to click Grassy Glide and Thunderbolt until I win. 
They don't really have any outs at this point except for uh, Quintuple Protect and somehow not losing to Regieleki. I'll even Volt Switch out of the game, why not? No, it just drops. Sweet. Alright, that was a frustrating game, but we still managed to pick up a win, so that's nice. That was a very frustrating game. Terrible luck on my end, <laughs> but we were fine.